Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. You may be wondering, Felix, what's wrong? How come you're at the edge of the screen? Well, that's because someone is watching us. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to make Mangle from the game Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, before we actually get into this tutorial, I have to check to see if you have a height limit. Or, I should say, you should check to see if you have a height limit. Now, you're going to switch to any type of block, it doesn't matter which block, and from the ground level where you're about to build this pixel art, you're going to be stacking at least 150 blocks going straight up. Now, if the game, for whatever reason, is preventing you from building 150 blocks going straight up from one location, that means you have a height limit. Now, what that means is you will not be able to build the pixel art standing upwards like this, but you can still get around the height limit, by making the pixel art laying down on the ground. So you're going to have to be placing the blocks laying down like this instead of going upwards. Now this usually just pertains to people that are playing on the Minecraft Pocket Edition or on the version of the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, uh, PlayStation 3 version that isn't fully updated. So just keep that in mind to see if you have a height limit. Again, just place at least 150 blocks. If you can't, you have a height limit. Now. Let's go over, and now these are going to be the blocks that are going to be going into this pixel art. Now, I do recommend placing them down on the ground, so you can see the type of blocks that are going to be going into this pixel art, in case you take a break and fly to somewhere else and switch over to blocks. And also, whenever your friends join your Minecraft world, they can see all the blocks that went into making this pixel art. Now, if you do not have all of these blocks here, say your Minecraft world doesn't have all of these blocks for whatever reason if it's not fully updated then try using a different type of block to substitute the blocks that you don't have now the blocks that you're going to be needing for this pixel art are the coal the black wool the gray wool the cyan clay the stone block the light gray wool the white wool the snow the yellow wool the yellow clay uh, this is the glowstone, the white clay, the pink clay, the mag- Oh, not the pink clay, sorry. That is the pink wool. This is pink wool. And this is the magenta clay, the pink clay, the red wool, the nether rack, and the nether brick. So I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see a full screenshot of these blocks. These are all the blocks that you're going to be needing. Now let's fly over to the center block. Now what the center block is, is just a black wool. Take any black wool and place it on the ground. Find a nice location first, because the center block is the marker of the very middle of the pixel art. And you get uh, kind of like a feel on where it's going it to be. So what you're going to be doing first is start from the center block. So go ahead and put your black wool down. And from this black wool, we're going to start on the right side of the grass block. So starting on top of this grass block, we're going to count all the way up to the number 47. Now, before you do that, uh, let me just clarify a few things. We never count the center block. We only count the grass blocks that are on the right side of it. So this is going to be one, two, three. And you're going to keep doing this, counting all the way to the right until you reach the number 47 now when you reach the number 47 you're going to switch over to the placement block which is the bookshelf i'll go into further explanation on why we need bookshelf and you're going to be putting the placement block aka the bookshelf on top of the number 47 the grass block that you counted 47 we're going to be putting the placement block there so once you've done that and by the way you should pause the video now to do that and once you've done that, we're going to fly back over to the center block. And this time, we're going to start on the left side of the center block. So starting on top of this block here, you're going to count all the way up to the number 47 as well. So this is going to be one here, two, three, four, etc. And you're going to be continuing the count until you reach the number 47. And you're going to be putting a placement block on top of the grass block that is 47. So go ahead and pause the video now to do that. And this is also important to detect any early on mistakes so you guys don't have to waste a lot of time on trying to figure out where you may have gone wrong. So this is why it's important. So once you've done that, we're going to start off this pixel art with the black wool like we always do. And let's head back over to the center block. Now this is also important. 
I believe I've mentioned this in previous tutorials, you never get rid of the center block until I actually tell you to. And this is one of the reasons why. So, we're going to start from the center block. I believe this is going to be maybe my second or even third pixel art that I start from the center. But we're going to be starting from the center block on the right side of the black wall here. That is the center block. You're going to be adding six blocks going across to the right. So we're just going to add six more going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is another reason why I always have the center block being a black wool on the chance that we might have to start from it. So make sure your center blocks are always black wool. So now in total, if you were to count this, this is a total of seven blocks going across because we already have that additional block here. So this is seven now because we place six. Okay. So starting on the right side of the seven, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. And we're going to be using a placement block to get to that level. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. Now, the reason why I have the placement block here for the new people that are watching my tutorials for the first time is so we don't get confused. In other words, if I have you place, let's say, five blocks going diagonal up to the right, let's uh, I, I don't really want you guys doing this because it might get you confused and then you won't try to, I don't know, I don't want you to try to figure out which blocks have to get rid of or get broken uh just doing this the placement block switching back and forth to a placement block like so you can easily figure out which blocks do not need to be there and there's also more than just this there's about three or four more purposes why we have the placement block but uh, i don't know if we're going to be getting into those uh for this tutorial part also, the tutorial parts are back because a lot of people were getting discouraged that the videos were a little too long, so I decided to split these tutorials into parts again. So now that we have the three blocks going across, we're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get rid of these. And I'll place seven blocks going up on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, again, guys, if you do decide not to use the placement blocks here, I don't want to hear anybody complaining in the comment section asking, Felix, can you help me because I don't know where I've gone wrong. It's usually because you haven't used the placement blocks. And also, I should I almost forgot to mention this. It's very important that you do not get comfortable with my instructions, with my vocal instructions. You have to also pay attention to the screen because sometimes I'm only human. I might accidentally say to the left when I meant to the right or may have said three blocks when I meant to say four blocks. So it's very important that you do not get comfortable with my voice instructions and you do pay attention to the screen as well because when in doubt, if I say something and it doesn't match what I'm doing on screen, always do what I do on screen. So if I say place three blocks and you see me place four, place four instead of three. In other words, uh, you know, I'm only human. I'm, I might make mistakes here and there. So it's very important that you do not get comfortable with my voice instructions and you do also pay attention to the screen. Now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And I'll place four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. So I'll just fly back real quick just to show you that everything should be looking like this so far. I will be flying back at during uh, at certain points uh, during this tutorial. Uh, so you can see where uh, you may have gone wrong if you did. Hopefully you didn't. I'm going at a somewhat decent Paste. I'm not trying to go too fast so everyone can follow. Alright, so now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now for those of you who are new, I do use terms in my tutorial to make the tutorial go faster. And two sets of twos essentially is just another term. So the word ter or the word set is essentially just a group. So I said two groups of two. So there's going to be two groups, and in each group there's going to be two blocks. 
So that's this is the first group, and it has two blocks in it. This is the second group, and it has two blocks in it, which means it's two sets of twos. You'll be able to pretty much understand it as we go throughout this tutorial. So now we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And I'll place seven blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to switch to, let's make this, let's see. We'll switch over to the stone block now. So switching over to the stone block, starting on the, the right side of the top block of these seven black walls, you're going to be placing one stone block on the right side, so place one stone there. Now switch over to the black wall, place one black wall underneath the stone block, so that's one. And then place another black wall on the right side of the stone, so that's one. Now let's switch back over to the stone block, starting on top of this one black wall, you're going to add two stone blocks going up, so that's one, two. Now let's move over here to the right. Now starting on top of these seven black walls that we placed going up, you're going to be switching actually over to the cyan clay. So let's switch over to the cyan clay and place one cyan clay on top of these seven. So that's one. And then let's switch back over to the stone block on top of the cyan clay. You're going to add two stone blocks going up. So that's one, two. All right, so I'm going to be putting these blocks away, just to avoid any confusion. And now let's switch back over to the black wall, and let's head over here to this one black wall. So going back to that black wall, this is going to be our starting point. We're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the placement block, starting from the top block of these three. On the right side of it, you're going to be placing one placement block, so place one there. Switch back over to the black wall, starting on top of the placement block, you're going to be placing five blocks going across to the left. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's get rid of this. And let's quickly switch over to the light gray wall. And with the light gray wall, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray. So let's fill this in. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and put away the light gray. And switch back over to the black wall. Let's head over here to the right side of the five blocks going across to the left that we placed here. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place six blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I also forgot to mention that if the tutorial, for whatever reason, is going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit that pause button. Alright, so now we're going to switch back over to the placement block. Now, starting from the bottom block of the six black walls that we just placed going up on the right side of it, so starting from there, you're going to add two placement blocks going up. So that's one, two. Now switch back over to the black wall, starting on top of the placement block here, you're going to be placing six blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's get rid of these. Let's go back. Now you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now you're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's four sets of twos going across upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. Now, for those of you who still need a little further explanation on these sets, I said four sets of twos. Essentially, what that means is the first number that I always say when it comes to sets is going to be the number of groups. And the second number that I say is going to be how many blocks are going to be in each group. So in this case, I said four groups of two. So there's four groups. See, this is one, this is two, that's three, and that's four. So that's a total of four groups. And in each group, I told you to place two blocks. So this is one, two here. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that's four sets of twos. So that was one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, and that was the fourth group.
So I hope you understand all of it by now to all of those people that are new to my tutorials. Now you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one block to the left. As you can see, these two are aligned with each other, these one blocks. Okay, so now we're going to be placing, let me just look, we're going to be placing five sets of threes. So that's five sets of threes. It's going to be long going up there. Uh, going across on the upper level to the left, that's five sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, five. That's five sets of threes. So let's get rid of the placement blocks. And if you, for whatever reason, you still don't understand, I'll fly back a bit. And you can always pause the video now just to compare. You also have the second screen over there to the right. You can always check back on any other part of the pixel art that you may think you may have gone wrong somewhere in it. That's why I have the second screen there to help you out. Alright, so now that we've got that, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing 14 blocks going up on the left. 14. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 blocks. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to fly back over here so you can see. Boom, boom, boom. To these two. Now, the reason why uh, I should go slower when it comes to one block going up to the left, one block going up to the right... The most, I would say, the people have trouble with is that they're always finding themselves one block off, and I believe it's whenever I'm placing one block going up to the left or the right, or going down to the left or the right, because they may have, let's say, for whatever reason, missed it, because it's just one simple instruction that can go by fast. So let's say I told you to put these four sets of twos, then I said place one block going up to the right. They may, for whatever reason, still be in the middle, uh, in the process of placing the four sets of twos. And then after I place this one block, I'd say place two blocks going up. So I don't know. I'm guessing some people are having trouble keeping up whenever I place one block. I might be going a little too fast for that. Because everyone, well, almost everyone is always one block off whenever they're trying to make the pixel art. And I believe it's because they don't pause the video, even if it's just for a second. Believe me, guys, pausing the video can save you a lot of trouble from uh, messing up the pixel art. Okay, now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And now starting from the top block on the right side of these three, so starting from there, you're going to add three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now place two blocks going down on the left. One, two. And now three blocks going down on the left. But this is going to be a linked, not regular three. Now what a linked means is we're going to be connecting to the last block that we just placed. So this is the last block that we placed. So we're going to be placing a linked three blocks going down. So it's going to start on the left. So that's one, two, three. Now this is what a linked block means. We connect it to the very last block that we placed, which is the last block of these two blocks. And we just place it going down on the left. So this is a linked because they're together. We don't need a placement block for linked blocks. Okay, so now we're going to be placing one black wool on the right side of the bottom block of these three. So that's one block there. And from that one block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. So it should look like this. Now let's head back up to the three blocks that we placed 
going up to the left. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing another three blocks going up on the left. At one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. At one, two, three, and four. Now let's move back over here to these three. And starting from the middle block of these three, on the right side of it, so from there, you're going to add three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. And now you're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see, the first block made contact with his other three blocks that were down here. So it should look like this. Now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place seven blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that was seven. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place ten blocks going up on the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's fly down and get rid of that placement block. Now, what you're going to be doing next is flying directly underneath the 10 blocks that we just placed that went up to the right. And you're going to align yourself with it, going directly underneath it. So like this. Then you're going to look straight down, and then you're going to drop without moving left or right, or forwards or back, and you should land on the placement block like that. Now again, we started directly underneath the 10 black walls that went up to the right, and then we dropped down, and if you have landed on the placement block that's over here to the right of the center block, then that means you're doing everything correctly so far. And we can go ahead and get rid of this right placement block, making sure that you still leave that other placement block that's over there to the far left. So let's fly back up now, and for whatever reason, if you're not landing on the placement block, just try to make sure to recount from the center block and make sure you placed it on the 47th grass block. Okay, so now let's start back from the top block of these 10 black walls, and you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place 10 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you're going to be placing 3 sets of 2s going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3. That's 3 sets of 2s, so it should look like that. Now you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And as you can see, it should be making contact with this one black wall here. Now let's get rid of that placement block. And let's fly back down to this one black wall here. That was part of the four blocks that went diagonal up to the left. So starting from this one black wall here, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 
That's one, two. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So everything should look like this. We have the two, then we have the three, and then we have the six. Alright, so now we're going to be placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place ten blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now starting on the right, no, not the right, starting on the left side of this one black wall, so starting from there, you're going to add three blocks going up. So that's one, two, and three. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block, and with the placement block, we're going to be placing one block on the left side of the bottom block of the three. So place one there. Switch over to the black wall. You're going to be placing one black wall on top of the placement block, one black wall on the left side, and one black wall underneath the placement block. So it should look like this. Now let's get rid of this placement block. And we're going to quickly switch over to the light gray wall. And with the light gray wool starting on top of the left block uh, of the black wool that was on the placement block. So starting from there, you're going to be placing two light gray wools going up. So that's one, two. Now starting from the bottom block on the left side of it. So from there, you're going to add three light grays going down. That's one, two, three. And now place one block going down to the left. So that's one. And now we can go ahead and put away the light gray for now. And let's switch back over to the black wall. And let's head back to the top block of these three black walls here that we had going up. So starting from the top block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place... Four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now, let's head back down here to this one black wall that we placed. So going back to this one block, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And we'll let, let's see, we'll continue uh, with other blocks later on, but let's fly back over here. Going back to the four black walls going across, uh, we're going to switch over to the placement block, and or not across, that went up to the right. <laughs> uh, we're going to switch over to the placement block starting from the top block of these four black walls. On the left side, you're going to be pl placing one placement block, so put one there. And then switch back over to the black wall, starting underneath the placement block, so starting from there, you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the left, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look exactly like this so far. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to quickly switch back over to the light gray wool. 
So switch to the light gray wool. And we're going to be filling in these empty spaces here. Not this one down here. This one down here remains empty throughout the entire pixel art tutorial. This never gets filled in with anything. But these empty spaces up here, let's fill them in with the light gray. Fill all of this in. And it should look like that. Now let's quickly put away the light gray so we can switch back over to the black wool. And let's head back down here to the top block of these four black wools that went up. Starting from that block there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the cyan clay, which is the cyan stained clay, but since I get annoyed with the <laughs> saying over and over cyan stained clay, or whatever stained clay, we're just going to call it by the color and the clay. So this is always going to be preferred as cyan clay. We're not going to waste our time saying or I'm not going to waste my time saying stained over and over. But switching over to the cyan clay, we're going to be placing one block on top of these two black walls. So place one block there. And then you're going to be placing another block going up to the left. That's one. Now we're going to be putting away the cyan clay, and we're going to switching... Let's see, we're going to switch over to the stone block so let's switch to the stone place one stone block on top of this cyan clay let's place one block there now we're going to put away the stone block and let's switch back over to the black wool let's head back over here to this clay the cyan clay on the right side of it starting from it so from there you're going to be placing two blocks going up so that's one and two Now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now starting from the left block of these two block walls, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now let's quickly switch over back to the cyan clay. Let's move to these two black walls, and we're going to be placing one clay on top of the right block of these two. So place one clay there. Now we're going to put away the cyan clay, and let's switch back over to the stone block, because I should have added one more. So switching back over to the stone block, there should have been two blocks. So let's just place another stone block on top of this one stone block. So let's place one block there. And now we're going to fill in this empty space here with the stone block. So let's fill this in. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the black wall. Let's also put away the stone block. And let's head back to the five black walls. Starting from the left block of the five, so starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And I've placed three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. And we're going to switch over to the gray wool. So let's switch to the gray. And starting on top of the left block of these five black walls, so starting from there, you're going to be placing two gray walls going across to the right. So that's one and two. And starting on top of this gray wool here, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. So it should look like this. Now let's put away the gray wool and let's switch back over to the black wool. Head back over here to the two black wools going across. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, and two. 
So now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now five blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Or uh, across. Yeah. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. I accidentally thought that I meant going just regular up. Okay. But don't worry, I'm pretty good at catching myself if I say something incorrect. And of course, when in doubt, make sure to do as I do. Alright, so going back down here to the two blocks going across, starting from the right block, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing one more block going down to the left. And it should be making contact with this black wool here, part of the four. So now we're going to quickly switch over to the stone block. And head back down to these two black holes going across. And place one stone block on top of the right block. So place one there. And then we're going to be placing another stone block on top of this black wall. So place one there. Let's put away the stone block and let's switch back to the cyan clay. And fill in these three remaining empty spaces with the cyan clay. So let's fill those in. And now let's put away the cyan for now and switch back over to the black wall. Let's head back over here to the left block of the four black walls going across. Underneath the left block, place one black wall, so that's one. Let's head back up here. Starting from the left block again of the four, so from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to switch over to the stone block, so switch back over to the stone block. Starting underneath the black wall here, the, the one that's part of the two. So starting underneath it, with the stone block, place one, uh, two, two blocks going down underneath this black wall. So that's one, two. And then place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, whoops, and two. So it should look like that. Let's put away the stone block, and let's switch back over to the black wall. Going back up here to this black wall, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to switch back over to the cyan. Starting underneath the left block of these two black walls going across, you're going to be placing one cyan. Or, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of my... Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so place one cyan there. You go away from tutorials for a while and you completely forget. Okay, now let's switch back over to the black wool and place one black wool underneath the cyan clay. So place one there. Now switch back over to the cyan clay and place one cyan clay underneath the black wool. So place one there. Now we're going to switch back over to the black wool and place one black wool on the left side of this clay. So place one block there. Now we're going to put away the cyan and switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, underneath this one black wool, you're going to be placing one gray. So that's one. And on the left side of this black wool, you're going to be placing two grays going across to the left. That's one, two. Now let's switch back over to the stone block. And let's put away the gray wool. Switching back to the stone. Fill in these two empty spaces here with the stone block. Let's fill those two in. And once you've done that, we're going to put away the stone block and switch back over to the black wool. Head back 
up here to this one black wool that went down to the left. So going back to this block, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. Alright, so let's go back up here to this black wool. And starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Now one block going up to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And place one block going down to the left. That's one. And while we're here, let's switch over to the stone block. And place two stone blocks going across underneath these two black walls. So that's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray. And place one light gray underneath this black wool. So place one light gray wool there. Now we're going to switch back over to the stone block. And place one stone block underneath this light gray. So place one stone there. Now switch back over to the light gray. Place one light gray on the left side of the stone. So place one there. Now switch back over to the stone block. And place one stone block on the left side of this light gray. So place one stone there. And let's move underneath this light gray, and we're going to be placing one stone block underneath it. So place one block there. Now switch back over to the light gray, and place one light gray on the left side of this stone block here. So place one block there. And it should look like this. Now let's put away the light gray wool and the stone block, and let's switch back over to the black wool. Going back up here to these two black walls going across, starting from the left block, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block again. So let's switch over to the stone. And place one stone block underneath these two black walls. So place one block there. Switch back over to the black wool, place one black wool on the left side of the stone, so place one black wool there. Now switch back over to the stone and place one stone block underneath this black wool here. And now switch back over to the black wool and place one black wool on the left side of the stone, so place one there. Now switch back over to the stone and starting underneath this black wool you're going to add three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. That's one stone, that mean. Alright, so that's one. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan. Stained clay. Hello, clay. And with the cyan clay, you're going to be placing one block on the right side of this one stone block. So place one clay there. So everything should look like this. Now let's put away the clay and switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back. Let's see. While we're here, we might as well finish this area. Let's not, not switch back to the black wool just yet. But let's switch back over to the light gray. And now with the light gray, let's move over here underneath this black wall. You're going to be placing two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two with the light gray. And now starting underneath this light gray here, place another two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. And now place one light gray underneath the left block of these two here. So place one light gray wall there. And it should look like that. Now we're going to... Switch back over to the black wall, heading back up here to the two blocks going up. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blo uh, two sets of twos going up on the right. So place two sets of twos. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place one block going up to the left. So that's one. So that went to the left. 
And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now from the center block, the middle block of these three, you're going underneath it, you're going to be placing one black wall. Let's place one black wall there. And now we're going to switch over to the cyan clay. And starting on the right side of this one black wall, you're going to add two blocks going down. So that's one, two. And let's head back up here. Starting on the right side of the three black walls, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. So that's three diagonal, and then we have these two going down. And we're going to switch over to the gray wall now. And place one gray wall underneath this one black wall. So place one block there. Now switch back over to the cyan. Starting underneath the gray wall, you're going to be placing two blocks, or not two blocks, three blocks going down with the cyan clay. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the stone block. And with the stone block, you're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the stone block. So let's fill those in. Once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the cyan clay, and let's head over here underneath this, uh, or not underneath it, I should say, switch back over to the gray wool, and place one gray wool underneath the left block of these three black wools. Place one gray wool there. Now switch back over to the cyan clay, and place one cyan clay underneath the gray wool. So place one there. And then switch over to the stone block, and underneath the cyan, place two stones going down. So that's one, and two. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray wool, starting on the left side of these two, uh, or the, of these three uh, black wools. With the gray wool, you're going to add two grays going across to the left. So that's one and two. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So, with the gray wool. So that's one, two, three, and four. So that's four diagonal that went down to the left. And now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. So let's switch back over to the black wool. And on top of these two gray wools, you're going to be placing two blocks going across. So that's one and two. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two. And now three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Now let's switch back over to the gray wool and fill in these two empty spaces here with the gray wool. So fill that in. Let's switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back down here to the bottom block of the three. So from that block there, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going down on the left side. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal down to the left. So seven diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of those. Now let's switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of this black wall. Let's place one block there. Switch back over to the black wall. Starting underneath the placement block, you're going to add nine blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Let's fly back over and get rid of that placement block. And while we're here, let's switch over to the cyan clay. And starting on the right side of this black wool, what you're going to do is just hug the outline of the seven blocks, and you're going to stop underneath these two black wools going across. So let's just hug the outline. And for those of you who are new, hugging the outline essentially just means we're going to be placing the same amount of blocks there are uh, when it comes to an outline, except with a different type of block. So the outline here was these seven black wools, but the blocks that we were going to be using to hugging the outline is going to be the cyan clay, and we just hug the outline, placing the exact same amount of blocks that were already placed. So you can see that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Essentially, what we did was just trace the outline with a block. So that's what hugging the outline means, and go ahead and give it a nice hug like that. All right. Now we're going to, do, 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 let's see, we're going to switch back over to the black wall. Let's head back over here. Let's finish out the outline. Let's not focus too much on the detail. We'll save that for later. So starting from the left block of the nine black walls going across, so from that block there, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now uh, switching over to the cyan clay, place one block on the left side of this black wall. Let's place one block there. Switch back over to the black wall, place one block on top of the uh, clay, so place one block there. And starting on the left side of the clay, you're going to be placing four blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left side, or not four, we're going to be placing six blocks. That's six blocks going down on the left, not four. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. We had that one cyan clay, and on the left we had these four that went down, and then we placed these six, so it should look like that. All right, now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right side. So three on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going down on the right side. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal, going uh, down to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. Now starting from the bottom block of these two blocks here, on the right, or not the right, on the left side of it, starting from there, you're going to add two blocks going across to the left. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now from this block, you're going to be placing Th uh, two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. So that's two sets of threes. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two, three. And now starting from the middle block of these three blocks here, on the right side of the middle block, so from there, you're going to be placing seven black walls going diagonal down to the right. So place seven diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of these placement blocks now. And let's head back down. Now you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now let's head back over here to the three blocks that we placed going down. So going back to these three, starting from the bottom block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block. Put a placement block on the left side of this black wall. 
and switch back to the black wall. Starting underneath this placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those. And now starting from the middle block of these three blocks that went down to the right, that went diagonal, starting from that block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. And now switch over to the placement block, put a placement block on the left side of this black wall, just place one block there. Switch back over to the black wall, starting underneath the placement block, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. So seven diagonal, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of these. And fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So now what we're going to do is go all the way over here to this one black wall that we placed part of the seven. Which is the furthest block all the way to the left of this pixel art as you can see. And what we're going to do is the same thing we did over there to the right. Except now starting underneath this black wall, uh, you're going to move your yourself underneath it align yourself with it and then you're going to look straight down and without moving left or right you're going to drop and if you've landed on this placement block that we put on the left side of the center block over there you're doing everything correctly so far so let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block and for whatever reason if you did not land on that placement block make sure to check out the right screen do your best to see where you may have gone wrong and again i'll show you again Again, 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 this area here, so you can pause it. Maybe you might have messed up somewhere around here if it didn't align with there. All right, let's go back. And we're going to be switching over to uh, the placement block. Put a placement block on top of this black wall. Let's place one block there. Now switch back over to the black wall. Starting on the right side of this placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And now starting from the top block of these three, so from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And it should be making contact with this black wall here. Now we're going to move back down here, back to the three blocks. And starting from the bottom block, you're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And let's head back up here to these two. Starting from the top block of these two, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now, two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those. And I place eight blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's head back down here, going back down to this one black wall. So going back to that block, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. Now let's head back down here, back to the four blocks going across, starting from the left block of the four. So from that block, you're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And now you're going to be placing uh, five blocks going diagonal down to the right. So five diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of these. And let's head back down. You're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to head back up here, going back up here to the left, going back to these six black walls that went down to the left from those four. So starting from the bottom block of these six, so from that block, you're going to be placing eight blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one. And one, two, two. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So two diagonal, that's one and two. And it should be making contact with these three blocks here. Now starting on the right side of these three black walls, so from that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to be placing, let's see, where are we going to go from here? Let's go back over here. Let's go back to the six black walls going across. So let's go back to these here. And you're going to be switching over to the block of coal. Switching over to the block of coal. You're going to be placing one block underneath the right block of these six blocks. So place one block there. Now we're going to be switching over to the black wool. And let's see, not the black wool. We're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And place one gray wool on the left side of this uh, block of coal. So place one gray wool there. Now we're going to switch back over to the black wall and place one black wall on the left side of this gray wall. Let's place one black wall there. And now starting underneath the gray wall, you're going to add three black walls going down. So that's one, two, three. And now you're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing 10 blocks going down on the left side. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we're going to be placing 6 sets of 2s going down on the right side. So that's 6 sets of 2s going down on the right. That's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6. So that's six sets of twos. Make sure to count it correctly. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a total of six of twos. All right. So now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right side. That's 1, 2, 3. 
And now place seven blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to switch over to the block of coal, and with the block of coal starting on top of the seven black wools here, you're going to add three block of coals going up. So that's one, two, three. And now you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the right side with the block of coal. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place one block going up to the right. So that's one. Now starting on the right side of this one block here, so starting from that block there, you're going to add 18 blocks going down. So starting next to it, you're going to add one block there. It's going to be 18 going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 18 blocks. Now we are going to switch over to... Da, 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 let's see. We're going to switch over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to... Hmm, this shouldn't be 18. I think I might have made a mistake. A slight mistake. It's alright. Uh, it's fine that we placed 18. This is actually supposed to be 16, not 18. So let's correct that by just getting rid of the last two blocks down here. So let's get rid of this and that. So now it's a total of 16 and not 18. Alright, so it should look like this. And as you can see, there's like one block that's... Black wool that's underneath this one block of coal. In other words, it's one level lower than this, so it should look like that. Alright, so let's switch over to the black wool. And now starting on the right side of it, you're going to be placing one black wool of this block of coal. Let's place one black wool there. And now one block going up to the left. So that's one. Again, so it should look like this. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Now, we're going to move back over here to the bottom block of the seven black walls. So, starting from that block there, you're going to be placing eight blocks going down on the left side with the black wall. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And I place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. And I place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now it comes for the moment of truth. You're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And as you can see, it should be making contact with the seven black wools that we had here. That technically started off as one because that was part of the center block, but this is a total of seven. So it should look like this. Now, for whatever reason, if it did not match, try looking back at the, at the second screen, which is the right screen, and try figuring out where you may have gone wrong. I'm sure it's not nothing too major, and you'll be able to fix it. Now, again, I am bringing back the pixel art tutorials in parts because a lot of you have been uh, feeling discouraged. You've let me know in the comment section that you guys are starting to feel a little discouraged because the tutorial videos are a little too long. So I decided to split them back up into parts. Now, if you're wondering, Felix, is this going to be meaning that I'm going to have to wait about like a week before another tutorial part gets released? Nope. Because the part two of this Mangle Pixel Art tutorial will be released tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow. And if and you know, of course, if you're watching this at a later date, part two is already out. In fact, part three is probably already out, so you'll be able to finish this. So, again, guys, you can keep requesting. I am bringing back the Pixel Art tutorials into parts, and I'm also bringing back mini Pixel Art tutorials. You'll be seeing another mini Pixel Art tutorial tomorrow on. Uh, 
on Tuesday, I believe it is. Tomorrow on Tuesday, because this is supposed to be uploaded on Monday. If I can get it out on time. So yes, tomorrow you're going to be seeing part two of the Mangle pixel art tutorial. And, part, and you're going to be seeing a mini pixel art tutorial. And you'll be able to see part one of the Super Saiyan God Goku. Surprise there. So yes, there's going to be a lot of pixel art tutorial parts being released tomorrow, uh, with the exception of the mini pixel art that's going to be a full tutorial of a mini pixel art that I have for you guys. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.